matchup. It's the NCAA tournament on men's basketball starting off. I'll get to the women's basketball pretty soon. But as far as the men's tournament, bro, this is bracketology. I'm looking for some first round upsets. I'm going to just give you the heads up because we know they're coming. We know all the upsets are coming here um, in the first round, the second round, all of these different things. So I got to give you the heads up of which teams will be upset when we watch March Madness starting next week. First things first, in the first round, I got Yale will upset Auburn. They are going to be Auburn, and this is going to break everybody's bracket. I see Nevada beating Dayton, and this is going to upset everybody. This is going to be a huge blow right here. James Madison will upset Wisconsin, even though Wisconsin has been on a roll. I still think James Madison is going to shock the world, and they're going to upset Wisconsin. Now, some teams in the second round that you got to watch out for because – not everybody's going to get upset in the first round here. I think a couple teams are going to make it past the first round, and then they'll go on to the second round and fall short like they usually do. One of those teams that usually fall short happens to be Purdue. Purdue is going to catch the boot regardless of who they play in the second round. I don't see them getting past the second round because this is just something they've done. They've always started off in the regular season doing good. They always ranked a good amount, a good number, whatever. But at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, and it's time for Purdue to win a game. We know that they don't do that well. The lights is always too bright when Purdue is playing on a big stage. So Purdue will catch a second round upset. Kentucky, they will catch the boot and get upset in the second round against either NC State or against Texas Tech. But Kentucky will definitely be upset come second round here. And down will go Arizona. Arizona, they will also see the boot come second round when they play Nevada or Dayton. I think either way it goes, it's going to be a tough matchup. And I don't see Arizona living up to the hype that they've been having so far. So these are a couple different teams that I think are going to be upset. And I know y'all probably think I'm crazy right now because it's like, bro, no, this team was ranked number five. This team was ranked number eight. All of this, blah, blah, blah. Bro. The NCAA tournament is a game for matchups. It's not about who is ranked what, what guy has who, what guy has the number one recruit, what team has this many recruits, none of that. No, it's about matchups. If your team is good, but you match up against a team who, who plays you perfectly, you're not going to win that game. So don't get too hype off of names because a lot of these guys, y'all think, have big names and, and are dogs. You're going to realize that they little pussycats and they going to face some dogs and get put out and get upset and they going to lose the, NC, or the uh, NCAA tournament. So just keep in mind, everybody's not who you think it is. They're going to run across some dogs. But I know you're probably wondering right now, like, all right, hey, um, well, you, you said all the upsets, so who you got winning this thing? I'm going to tell you right now, man, look, I got University of Florida winning this thing. I got them winning the, the NCAA tournament. I, th I think they'll go all the way, and I trust their bigs. I trust their guys. I trust how gritty they are. I trust that they play tough. I trust that when push comes to shove, they will grab defensive boards. They're going to really buckle down and make sure they don't give up easy buckets in the game when they need to lock down. So I think this team has a lot of effort, and they have plenty of talent, and this combination both will lead them to the Elite Eight at a minimum. I think at a minimum they get to the Elite Eight because of this combination of having plenty of talent and then playing uh, with plenty of effort as well. So effort-based teams do tremendous in a tournament. And I'm going to just tell you that right now. So some of these guys, y'all think it's top dogs. They ain't going to put the effort behind it. And they really not going to be what you think they are 